Ron here from Witty Southland. Today we're just going to talk through our wee trip down to Codfish on the western side of Stewart Island. So we're lucky enough to uh, head on down in our new 2050. We'd scoped out the weather forecast and it was looking absolutely primo. Uh, we were met with probably 15 metre viz as you can see. Um, it's about 10 metres where we are here and uh, just crystal clear water. We had a few seals buzzing around, um, and codfish is renowned for really good cray fishing. Um, so we came down to have a wee look what we could find. As you can see, plenty of fish life. I came and had a look in this crack here. And up further is a little cray. I spot it just on the end of my breath hold, so I come back up. Got some nice big moki hanging around there. Come down, find this little cray sitting in this hole up in the rock here and snag it and miss <laughs> um but yeah we uh we had some pretty pretty decent viz down there and some pretty epic cray diving as you guys are going to see So instead of uh, just showing misses, I thought that we might actually just show uh, some of the craze that we did get. So here's uh, Nick with a couple of nice nice males. And uh, then another wee decent female that we managed to get. Some areas had this sort of murk on it. It was quite unusual. Um, and then Vincent with a nice big sort of two and a half, probably nearly three kilo cray. Vincent's a big dude, so uh, unfortunately his craze always look really small. Here we have one of the, the better uh, codfish crows, a nice big buck, sitting out um, just in the little cracks and stuff like that. And like I said, over the top, around the horns, snag him, and easy diving that. We found quite a few areas like this where it was big bouldery terrain, um, but ironically they, they didn't have a lot of crows in them. Um, not sure if they'd been potted before or if it was just the time of year. Um, here you've got Ant coming down, just looking for crays along the cracks and that. And then he uh, he doesn't find a cray, but he finds probably the biggest kinner I've ever seen in my life. Um, and you can have a look as he comes up. This thing here, look at that. It's like a dinner, dinner plate size kinner. Absolutely huge. Some more crab grab in action and then it was uh time to get bothered by the seals so this here was a big mama seal uh we got a little bit too close to her pup i reckon on the shore so she uh wanted to come and say hi <laughs> she's not aggressive or anything like that she was just having a look seeing what was up i'm a i'm a reasonably fat dude i would say and uh this thing here was dwarfing me in the water so you definitely want to show them a bit of respect, um, but nine times out of ten, they're just curious. Um, they're real curious when we started spearfishing, <laughs> um, but yeah, prior to that, they they didn't bother us. They were just living their little lives.
see this dude here he was a just a, a younger little seal he is a lot more curious a lot more friendly We swatched up dive spots a wee bit. Again, more seals, but you can see it's a beautiful day down here. Again, met, met with some amazing viz. Uh, this here was Bruce. Uh, Bruce is probably one of the fattest cods I've, uh, I've ever seen. Ironically, uh, when I had the GoPro, didn't, didn't give two shits, I could get just about right up to him. Um, as soon as anyone tried to get near him with a gun, he was absolutely gone. So here's Ant trying to find him. Now you can see him just to the left of the screen there. Um, that gives him probably a bit of size comparison to, to how big he was. Um, but yeah, he, he would come right in underneath us uh, when we were diving down. And then as soon as he started descending down towards him, boom, he'd just fly off. And you can see all the cod hanging around us below underneath Ant there. That was really fishy, um, but just mainly cod and moki and stuff like that. So again, Ant came in trying to get Bruce. And nope, just out of range. You can just see him flicking off the top of the screen there. Um, we tried probably for about 25 minutes to get this fella. Um, we probably could have burlied up, but yeah. he was giving us good sport. And um, that was him just there. Just as I was filming him again with the GoPro, old mate Hector came in and, and gave him a wee tug and, and just about had him for dinner. So he was about to show us all up. They're so cool in the water though when you see them. And now we actually just started shooting some 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 bigger cod. Um, nothing the size of old Brucey, but um, yeah, some real good eating cod down in, at Codfish. Ironically, who would have thought with a name like that? Here's me, as you can see, a majestic seal in the water. And boom, headshot. And... Um, you can see I've got the weedy weight harness on. I, like, I said I find that. There's me pointing out Bruce again. He's coming for another look. Ironically, again, as soon as we shot any other cod, he would come back in. All of our suits got dive dive knives on the side, so that makes it nice and easy to dispatch. You can see, like, this is just absolute magic day down here. I don't know how many days are like that at Codfish, but it was just absolute glass, like no swell, mid viz. And uh, as per all good things, quickly dispatching my fish, um, picking it, gutting it, and bleeding it, and that way it keeps the, the um, flesh nice. Here's Ant with another good shot. Boom. And uh, you can't hear it on the video, but there's one hell of a ting as he smokes a rock on the other side. <laughs> Just as well, he's using Vincent's gun. You can see how clear that water is absolute incredible day down there um, so after we finished up here we um, decided to head through to the Ruggedies so um, again absolutely incredible spot just like Jurassic Park era volcanic -y rock kind of thing um, so we found a couple of super fishy spots uh, again found a few craze and stuff like that but um, these places are just absolutely incredible to dive um, you know the weather protects them so much but when you can get down there it does does truly make it. This is the wee bay that we're in, one of them anyway. Um, you can see Vince got his nips out for the boys. And then to sort of wrap up the day, we ended up um, fishing at the Bishops. Um, so these are before, so you have the Bishops, the Ruggedies, and then down to Codfish. Um, and as you can see, we're all all pretty much onto heaters here. The fishing was really good, uh, which was what you would expect when the spear fishing was also really good. And we're fishing 15, 20 meters, not super deep. Um, and as you can see, we're fishing on soft jigs um, or like um, yeah, metal jigs kind of thing. So we didn't have to worry about bait. Um, luckily, Vincent got that one inside the boat. As um, as you can see, I tell Tim to turn around and hold it up. So that's a massive cod. And uh, it was just like that, cod after cod, real good size ones. Um, and lots of action, which is what you want with cod fishing. I always try and sit in a bit of current, a little bit of foul, um, just make it sort of easier for yourself. Um, that's where the cod like to hang out. Try and keep your rigs off the bottom. But um, yeah, that's the lads uh, day out at Codfish on the western side of Stewart Island, um, down in Southland. So pretty epic day. We had absolute, look at this coming back, this is absolute glass. Um, it's not too many days that you can cruise back doing 32 knots kind of thing. Um, and yeah, again, 
speechless for the day as one of those uh one for the books that's for sure so thanks guys make sure you subscribe and like our videos uh follow us on witty southland and also uh, rowan hook as an ambassador for stavey um and all our videos are on youtube thanks everyone hope everyone has a mean summer cheers